What is up you guys, Debbie here from Miller Mod PCs. So today I got a really cool little mod that I'm gonna show you guys. You guys wanted to see a lot more uh, modding videos and I wanted to do a lot more modding. So today I'm gonna be doing a custom mod to my Corsair 900D Elite build to the front plate. Um, I'm gonna be using a custom piece that I had made by a good friend of mine, Thomas Harrell from White Light Laser. Um, I'm gonna be talking a lot more about him coming up because I got a big announcement to make. But for right now, we're going to be stick to the mod. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys all the little tools that I'll be using for the mod as well as the mod progress. So let's go. Okay, so what I finally decided on doing was just to implement this piece into the front plate. What I'll be doing is basically just cutting out a big rectangle here on the front and then having this come up from behind and um, kind of be recessed in a little bit, but you'll be able to see it and the letters through. Um, so I think that's going to look pretty sick. So first thing what we need to do is just take some masking tape and what we're going to do is mask off this whole front plate here because we're going to need to do mark it to make our cuts. And this is just some masking tape, uh, some painter's masking tape. Um, it's really strong and the good thing about this is it doesn't leave that residue on your um, whatever you're going to put it on like duct tape will. So we're going to be going and using that. Okay, so we're going to take our masking tape and just mask off the whole front here. Okay, we got the whole front mask off, ready to be um, to make our lines to where we need to cut. But the first thing I want to mention is if we flip it on the back here, we have the tabs now. I want to make sure I do not cut these tabs off. So what I'm gonna have to do is measure, and then remeasure and see if this piece is going to interfere with any of the tabs on the back. So I definitely don't want to cut those off. I want to keep those. So. Uh, we'll just have to keep measuring and going back and make sure it clears those tabs before I actually make my lines and make my cut. So I definitely want to make sure you do that if you're going to make any cuts into this front panel. So I made my decision. I think I want to keep it right here, right as close to the edge as I can. Um, I'm not going to cut out the Corsair part. You can see there's little black lines on here from when we made this piece. Um, he had a market to get it lined up with the acrylic back piece, but we're going to use those lines as our edge of our rectangle to cut onto our front plate. So what I'm going to do is just mark about where those black lines are on here. So I think that's about good. Now the next one I'm going to do is make the actual lines straight up and down uh, to where we need our cuts. And I'll make a little box closed off right here, down here, and at the top as well. So now we're ready to draw our lines that we use as a guide to make our cuts. Now it's good to use like this angle metal ruler here because it gives you a nice straight edge. Um, nice and square to the actual front plate to give you a nice straight edge. So we're going to use this for a couple of the lines here. So now what I'll do is just lay the custom acrylic piece on where the lines where I just drew to make sure everything lines up and that's about where I want it right there. It looks pretty good. So the lines are also going to be where I actually make the cuts. So you can see I squared it off at the bottom here and also at the top and that I'll be putting my Dremel to and we'll be cutting out that big rectangle. Okay, so now we're ready to start making the cuts with the Dremel, but as you can see here, I got the front panel laid down on a box to catch all the debris underneath. And I got a lot of these little clamps, really cheap, only about 40 cents each at Home Depot, to clamp down a ruler, and that ruler I'll be using as a straight edge to guide my Dremel. If you're going to do a Dremel freehand, it's very difficult, so what I recommend doing is using a straight edge, like a ruler, um, to guide the Dremel in a straight direction. I'm going to be using a reinforced cutting wheel to cut this thick aluminum on the front plate. It's always a good idea to use a reinforced cutting wheel when cutting this thick of aluminum just because if you use a standard cutting wheel it's going to wear out really fast. So as always use some safety glasses also while cutting. Um, you don't want metal stuck in your eye for the rest of your life. That would stink. So just using the ruler as a guide I'm just going to be pushing the Dremel very lightly against that ruler. Again, I don't want to be cutting the ruler, I just want to be using it as a guide to make a straight line because I am freehanding this. So here I got the first line cut. It looks pretty straight. Um, we're going to need to do a lot of filing though on the inside and the back of the piece. Now that's just because we're using a Dremel. Um, I decided to use the Dremel the whole time that you cut this just because a lot of you will probably have a Dremel instead of like a jigsaw which I would probably normally use for this type of work. Um, but I definitely wanted to, you know, I wanted to use that what you guys would most likely use to show you. So I use the Dremel. It's going to take a long time probably to cut this, um, but it's going to be definitely well worth it in the end. So after cutting the rest out and about 45 minutes of filing down the edges, we we're ready to actually paint the piece. Now to paint this, we, I'm going to be using a 
primer, a self-etching primer, as well as this Krylon flat black. Now this flat black color is actually a really close black to the actual finish of the 900D. So I definitely recommend um, this paint or there's actually a couple others that probably look really close to it too. But for only like seven bucks, this cam, uh, you could get a really clean, nice looking finish. So as always, if you're painting, go out into a well ventilated area. Like here, I just went outside. Mask off the front plate once again so we don't get any of the paint anywhere that we don't want it other than the inside edges that we just cut. So we're going to go ahead and first lay down a primer and that primer is the self etching primer. It's a really good primer um, and it will adhere to this very nicely. Uh, go ahead and let that dry for a good hour and then come back and put on two or three coats of the Krylon flat black to finish it off. Again make sure everything's nice and dry before you take off the painter's tape. Um, I think I just left it overnight, but you know, I'd say a good two, three hours would be good to go. So I left it overnight, so I'm ready to just peel all the painter's tape off. And here we have the nicely painted Corsair 900D front plate. And as you can see, the black looks pretty close to the actual finish um, of the aluminum on the 900D. So now what I'm going to do is grab a my acrylic piece and make sure it fits nicely where I want it inside the rectangle that I just cut out. I can see it fits just perfectly right on the side of the tab so it's not going to interfere with closing and opening your uh, front plate if you want to take it off and put it back on. And for and to mount this what I'm going to be doing is using just some double sided mounting tape. You can go ahead and pick this up at any hardware store. Um, pretty inexpensive and it is, does a really good job in this kind of stuff. Uh, it holds really well and like always if you ever want to take it off you can go ahead and peel it right off. So once I finalize where I actually want the acrylic piece to inlay we're ready to stick all the little pieces of tape. Now I'm going to use just little sections of the tape because I'm going to put a cold cathode actually to the left of the uh, logo because those are UV blue acrylic letters so I want those to glow so I don't want to totally block the light that's going to be coming in from the side so I'm just going to be putting little sections of tape where um, to mount the acrylic piece to. Okay, so now we're ready to install the acrylic piece, so I'm just gonna make sure it's all lined up perfectly before I actually push it down onto the tape. And once I feel that it's in the right spot, I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of force and it's gonna stick right to that double-sided tape. So at this point, where I'm basically finished, but I do wanna add the cold cathodes behind the plate, so let's go ahead and do that. So to mount the cold cathode behind the plate, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to take the dust filter off the 900Ds to allow the not only the wire to fit, but also for the cold cathode to fit. Um, now I'm not too worried about the uh, front dust filter just because I don't have any fans or intake fans up there anyway. Um, so what I'm going to be using is just the double sided tape once again to mount the CCFL right to the back there and then that's going to run the wire straight to the converter uh, to power it and that's going to be tucked away behind my 480 real millimeter radiator at the bottom of the case. So that about concludes my mod to my Corsair 900D Elite front plate mod. I want to thank all you guys for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe. I got a lot of great stuff coming up. Probably my next video will be fully sleeving my power supply. So that's going to be really cool. Um, I got a big announcement coming up that I think you guys would enjoy and could definitely be a part of, which is going to be really cool. And as always, let me know what you guys think about this mod. Put your comment in the comment box description below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And until next time, I'll see you later.